Welcome everyone. Anyone who watches this channel is aware that I am a parent. And as a parent, I like to think of myself as being responsible and trying to help my child in the future. So my wife and I started an RESP for the little guy. And last year's uh, allocation, we invested in a Vanguard S&P 500 Canadian hedge, and that is up 27%. I don't know if we'll do as good this year, but what we decided to buy was Alphabet, um, more commonly known as Google. They're known as a search engine company, but don't let that fool you. Don't forget they own Android. Um, that's the second biggest phone operating system that there is. They have self-driving cars. They actually invest in a ton of different things. Some things hit, some things completely, completely miss, and they lose a lot of money. But the things that they do hit, they make a lot of money, so it kind of evens out. There has been a big drop off in the stock recently, and I'm going to touch on that briefly. But first off, I want to tell you guys that I bought the Canadian hedge ver version of Google. So that's the Google CDR um, that CIBC has been putting out. It trades on the ticker symbol GOOG.NE. Um, if you guys don't know what a CDR is, just ask me in the comments and I'll help you out on that one. But uh, basically, it's just a Canadian hedged um, a fraction of a share of Google. Okay, so we're only paying twenty three sixty two for a Google share now, whereas uh, the U.S. listed version is one hundred and forty U.S. dollars. So obviously, you get a percentage of a share, not a full one. Now, the reason that we decided to buy the Canadian hedged uh, CDR is because the broker we're, we are with, Scotia iTrade, charges a $30 per quarter fee if you have any American holdings listed in US dollars. So the way around that fee is for us to buy the CDR because it's in Canadian dollars and basically we don't have to pay it. So it makes more sense for us in this uh, small position because yet again, it is only $2,500. It's not that much money. So it really wouldn't make sense to pay $30 a quarter, 120 US per year on such a small holding. Um, but otherwise, if you don't have these types of issues with your broker, it really makes more sense to buy it on the uh, US dollar side in the uh, proper exchange where it's listed. So the reason that Google stock dropped a little bit lately is because of their AI. People are saying that it's too woke and basically you can read up on it if you want, but uh, Honestly, it's software. Software can be updated and changed really, really quickly just with a patch. If you've ever played video games um, or just been a beta tester of something, you know that. So things are easily, easily fixable. So if it's going to come off a few percentage, uh, I'm in because I've been waiting to buy this thing. So I'll take any dip in price as an entry sign. These problems that they have with their AI, it's not going to be permanent. It is a little bit embarrassing that they're having these issues uh, being such a large company, but I'm in, guys. To be honest with you, there's only one, and I mean one issue that I have with Google, and that is their share dilution. If they get rid of that, no, never mind, not if, it's a when. When they get rid of that, if that's this CEO or the next, the stock is going to go up significantly, and then we're off to the races. So this is one I want for the long term, 10 years plus. My child is really, really young, so this investment of $2,500, um, I'm expecting it to 10x by the time he goes to university we'll see maybe we'll do a little worse maybe we'll do a little better but i feel really good about it i'm not too worried about um the pe ratio it's pretty low compared to the rest of the magnificent seven uh let me know if you guys are buying this one or what you're buying for your child's resp because it is important it's a good thing to talk about and we'll catch you later